Young Chris Wysorek entered his family roster in the number two spot in 1967. His parents, Edward and Delphine, brought young Chris to their suburban Detroit home where first position was occupied by Sister Dawn. Childhood was spent wrapped in the arms of a close-knit Polish family that spanned several generations, including a grandma who visited from the home country. There were aunts and uncles and cousins, too. Church, school, it wasn't all homework. Holidays, Halloween is big in Detroit. And music. Yes, Chris, at his grandmother's urging, started down the path of a young virtuoso until he discovered sports. There was baseball, hockey, boating, bowling, and a passion in the making, golf. There was hard work too, a first job at the local hardware store, a chance to buy his first car, and high school graduation. As for college, a spring break trip to Florida led Chris to the University of Central Florida and a job at the local country club, as Chris put it, pouring drinks for rich people. We all know that business is done at the golf course and some of those members took notice of this ambitious young man. When graduation day rolled around, Chris was on the path to a career at Herf Jones. There were some growing pains, but the boss also encouraged Chris to meet a young part-time office worker named Sherry Barton. He did, and soon there was a wedding in Orlando and official membership in the Barton clan. Burlington, North Carolina is home and office now. Hard work has its reward, something Chris and Sherry take time to enjoy, with vacations, golf, and the occasional bartender job at family gatherings. Recently, though, a sad goodbye to his dad, the man Chris credits for much of his success. He still remains, in his words, a mama's boy, and they share precious time together. Chris says, there is nothing in the world like a hug from his mom. And then there is Lucy, the most recent in a long line of bulldogs that have shared life with Chris since childhood. She is not as pretty as Sherry, but according to Chris, she gives kisses when the settlement checks come. Good evening, and for those of you that are still with us tonight, thank you for hanging in there. I'd like to begin with a blanket thank you to anyone that's ever answered the phone, processed an order, shipped a package, or assisted myself or any member of my sales team over the last 16 years. This definitely takes a team effort, and we could not have gotten it done without you. Thank you. Specifically, I'd like to begin with George Pittard, who took a chance on a weekend country club bartender, and then bravely introduced me to Doug Demery. Doug, thank you for the two and a half years of education on what it takes to be successful at this business. Nobody does it better than you. To Herb Jones Management, thank you for your confidence, thank you for your support, and thank you for your vision. I definitely see brighter days ahead. Bessie Sullivan, Gail Gillard, and Lisa Boysenault, thank you ladies for your support in working through the multiple mistakes I've made over the years. And I know, do know that there's been a bunch. In fact, I'm quite confident there's one or two waiting on us when we get back from convention. Thank you ahead of time for your help with those. Angela Austin in cap and gown, thank you for always being professional, thank you for always being courteous, and most importantly, always getting the job done. I've been fortunate to work with uh, several CSRs in both diploma and fine paper divisions over the years each one friendly and up to the task. To North Carolina, Mr. Lane and David Transu, thank you for giving me a chance. Team North Carolina, it's a privilege, privilege to be part of a successful group. Patrick Smith, I love you like a brother, and I know that embarrasses you a little bit, but you'll get over it. I'm a better salesman each and every day, just trying to keep up with you. And then, of course, two steps ahead. And to my office support, Patty Williams and Michelle Kimry, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your willingness to always go the extra mile. Perhaps you two both know, better than anyone, the amount of time and effort it's taken to get this done. And to my family, Nancy, you are beautiful, classy, and kind. You and I go way back, in fact, all the way to the Doug Demery days. I recall one afternoon you took time to step into my closet. Yes, Doug called it an office, but you and I both know it was the closet in Doug's office. But nevertheless, you took time to let me know that I, you thought I was a nice young man. That really meant a lot. To Steve Barton, one of my favorite people. He was a joy, perhaps the best salesman I ever met. Steve, I sure do miss our Friday night pep talks. Rest in peace, my friend. And to my sister Dawn, thank you for paving the way when we were children as to what not to do. You were pretty good at that, and you sure did make my life a lot easier. Thanks. 
Thank you for also always being my biggest fan. Not quite sure why you decided to do that, but even as kids, I knew I could always count on you for your support. Very proud of what you've done recently to finish up your education, and I hope you enjoy your new career. And to my dad, who I also sadly had to say goodbye to recently, Dad, thank you for the tireless work ethic. I believe it's paid off. And thank you for the countless hours you and I shared chasing my dreams. Whether on a ball field, a gymnasium, or a bowling alley, you're always there. I may have let us down a little bit on the athletic end of things, but I did make it to one Hall of Fame. And to my mom, Mom, I love you more than you know. The world's a better place because you're in it. Stay true to your faith and your quest to spread peace and love, because you're doing a fine job. And to my angel, Sherry, thank you for your support. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being understanding. Thank you for being pretty. Thank you for being a wonderful wife. Thank you for being an even better friend. Thank you for being fun. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being adventurous. Well, what I'm trying to say is thank you for being my dream come true. I love you very much. I'm very proud to be your husband. I can't wait to see where our journey is going to take us next. Well, folks, this wraps it up for me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you and good night. Please welcome Chris Wysorek to the Herf Jones Hall of Fame. <laughs>